Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're painting a realistic cupcake in watercolor. This painting is quick, easy, and super fun to do. If you want to follow along, grab your paint and let's get started. Okay, let's run through supplies briefly before we begin. As always, you can find a free PDF of the reference photo and a line drawing in the description below. To complete this painting, I'll be using the following colors. Opera Rose, Sap Green, Burnt Sienna, Mars Yellow, and Lamp Black. The brushes I'm using today are, of course, my Princeton Velvet Touch No. 8 Round Brush and my Da Vinci Series Forte No. 0 Round Detail Brush. And, as always, I'll be painting on Arches 140 pound, 100% cotton hot press paper. Of course, you don't need these supplies to do this painting. Use what you have. All right, let's start by taking a look at our reference photo. There are four main components to this painting. We have the icing, the cake, the pearls, and the wrapper. We're going to begin by putting a very light wash down wherever we see this cake color. So under the icing and in the cupcake wrapper. To achieve this color, I'm going to mix some burnt sienna and Mars yellow. We are looking for a light, warm, orangey brown color. We want to dilute this mixture pretty heavily as we're only looking to lay down a very light wash at this point. All right, let's start by focusing on the cake that's showing through the wrapper. You can see that I'm avoiding the extremely highlighted area right now, but you can actually just go ahead and paint this wash all over the entire bottom portion of the wrapper. Just be sure that your wash is very light if you're going to do this. If you're unsure, just avoid the very light areas for now. We can always come back to them later. Next, we'll take the same mixture and lay it down on the cake portion under the icing. You can use a wet and wet technique here if you'd like, but because these sections are so textured, I think that any hard edges will easily be concealed later. Once you have a wash over both of these sections, we can let everything dry before moving on. Next, we're going to move into the icing. We're going to do the same thing here as we just did with the cake sections. We're going to lay a very light wash of pink over the entire icing portion of the painting. To achieve this pink mixture, I'm going to mix Opera Rose with a touch of Sap Green. This will help neutralize that pink color just slightly. It was much too vibrant to begin with for my liking, but you're free to paint yours as vibrant as you'd like. Make sure your mixture is heavily diluted at this point as we're only, again, looking for a very light wash. We will build up our layers as we move through the painting. We want to be more careful here to avoid any hard line edges. So, so you can go ahead and paint wet and wet, but I prefer just to paint each one of these little segments individually. And then I just make sure that I'm painting in the direction of form as well. So let's do a wash of this diluted mixture over all of the icing while avoiding the pearls.
While this section is still wet, I'm going to define some of the darker areas within the icing. Let's mix up a more concentrated mixture of our pink color. Before we paint, we're going to take one more peek at the reference photo. I wanted to find the shadowed areas where the icing overlaps. It's important to note these thin white highlights along the edges of the icing. We want to be sure not to paint over those. Right now we're looking to define the shadow that sits behind those portions. I'm going to let this whole section dry and then I'm going to repeat this process again with an even more concentrated mixture of our pink color. Okay, let's go back to the reference photo again. I want to move into building texture on the cake portion that sits under the icing. We can see that it's not just a flat wash here. We need to use a stippling technique to build texture. If you're unfamiliar with stippling, check out my realistic orange tutorial linked above and in the description below. I go into stippling in detail in that video. We also want to note here there's a visibly highlighted section as well as a shadowed section. We want to make sure to represent this in our painting. Okay, so we want to begin to build texture. To do that, we're going to need a semi-concentrated mixture of our warm brown color. Again, I'm going to mix up some burnt sienna and Mars yellow and dilute it down to a light mid-tone brown. I'm going to start by stippling this color all over the entire cake portion that sits under the icing. While this area is still kind of wet, I'm going to pick up more of this color and begin to build up the shadowed sections even further. From here, I'm going to move down into the wrapper section of the cupcake and stipple this color in our darkest areas to begin building texture down here. Be sure to keep looking back at your reference photo to ensure you're not painting over any of your bright highlights. Stipple this color in the dark sections of the entire cupcake wrapper and then let it dry.
I'm going to move back up to the cake portion that sits under the icing and use the same mixture to further define my shadowed areas. Again, I'm going to move back down to the wrapper and further define my shadowed areas down here as well. darker values in the icing by adjusting my color mixture slightly. I want a duller version of this pink and to achieve that I'm just going to add a touch more sap green. I'm going to use this mixture to concentrate my shadowed areas.
Now we're going to focus on the pearls that are sitting in the icing. If we take a peek at our reference photo, we can see that they're basically just different values of gray. For this gray tone, we're going to be using a diluted mixture of lamp black. We will start by painting the darker section on the pearls, and then we will move on to let them dry. Alright, we're now at that time where we really have to study our reference photo and make any fine-tune adjustments. As I always say, this will be different in my painting than it is in yours, so just pay attention to your reference photo and be patient while making your adjustments. When you're done, sign it and peel the tape. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's so cute and was so easy to paint. Let me know in the comments below if you followed along. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!